All right, what's up, everybody on YouTube? This is Blue RC coming to get another video. And before I start, I want to say sorry, guys. I have not been putting a video for like 10 plus days. It's because while I was out on vacation, I was not, I didn't have access to the laptop that I usually use. And when I got back, the laptop was actually left. So I've been out this laptop for a while. So now that I have the laptop, I'm going to be doing some videos. I'm probably going to be doing like five or six videos today, probably like five. So if you see me in the same outfit, just know that's why I have not worn this outfit days in a row. I just want to let you guys know that. So let's get into review. As you can see, is a Kobe 7, um, Nike Zoom Kobe 7 system, size 13. And you know, the, the color is mint candy. Um, and you guys already know this shoes is mint candy is the Poison Dark Bar Kobe's. Now, um, I didn't really like the KDs or the LeBrons. The KDs mostly because they kind of look like a chick shoe to me. And the LeBrons, the overall look of those, they to me the LeBron 9 lows are not on the same level as the mid-top LeBrons or high top, whatever. But they're not on the, you know, the scale of the regular LeBron 9. So LeBron 9, the lows for me right now are just, you know, whatever, you know. I seen the Liverpools, they're a cool concept, but overall I just don't like the model of the shoe. But Enough of LeBron, let's talk about Kobe. Let's talk about the Kobe 7 Poison Dart Frog. Definitely my favorite out of the pack. Definitely, definitely, definitely my favorite out of the pack. Right, so let's get into the right shoe. As you can see, guys, let's give you a quick 360. Right here. Right here. Actually, let me just go ahead and give you the 720. Quick 720. All right, let's start with the sole. You see you got half, most of your, well, some of your sole is just black. Your outsole is black mint candy, got your black carbon fiber right here, and some carbon fiber in the mid midsole or like midfoot. Um, you got some of that mint candy blue coming up from the outsole around your shoe in the back, you can see it right here. On the inside, you can kind of see it a little bit right here. Uh, your midsole is black. Um, I, what I do like about the Kobe's, this is my first pair of Kobe's actually, and um, I've never really dived into them, but these shoes are actually really comfortable. I had a size 12, if you follow me on Instagram, and if you haven't, you should go follow me on Instagram. The same thing, Bull RC. And I had these in size 12, and I put them on. I kind of like how they fit. They were tight, but they were like a good tight. Like these things, they fit on your foot, and they, they feel really good. So they're really comfortable with me. Um, these do not actually have the removable um, insole. This is just the uh, the play fast insole. But let's get back into review. Back here, you have the Poison Dart Frog, uh, you know, logo. It, it's like a foamy material back here. Is in mint candy. You got LeBron. I mean, whoa, LeBron. Sheesh, man. What am I talking about? You got Kobe's signature right here, you know, in the mint candy. You got this uh, clear plastic uh, heel cup. You also have, let's see, this is like eh, definitely synthetic leather around. And then you also have uh, your in, inner lining right here is all black. Really, really, like, you guys, really right here, so much cushioning in the, in the uh, heel. That that's probably one of the main reasons I like them. I've already worn them like, well, they've been worn three times. I have to trade these for a 13. And when I got them, shout out to Diamond, the guy who actually gave me the, um, you know, the trade. Um, when I got them, this whole the insole, you know, how it says play fast or whatever. That was already kind of worn out, and I wore them twice, and it's gone. So after wearing them three times, play fast is gone. So that's why it's not there. You got your Kobe logo, mint candy inside of the tongue. Is also mint candy. Your laces are black. I lace mine kind of loose rather than tight. Cause I know everybody, a lot of people have been commenting recently on my um, my top ten shoes on foot video, which is pretty funny. Everybody's like, "Yo, I really feel your shoes, but man, those things are why you lace them so tight." And um, I have changed my Concords around. I unlace those a little bit, but everything else is the same. I mean, it doesn't really bother me. I guess I don't know. They're not really. They might look tight, but they really aren't tight. They're just laced higher up than usual. Some people like to lace their shoes, so. All right, let's get back to it. But the main feature of the shoe, guys, that you can see already, is the poison dart frog pattern on the upper. And I mean, it pretty much speaks for itself. And also, this is a 3M swoosh, if you can't already tell. Um, so yeah, I mean, the basis around, like around, this pretty much this this really durable, like cast polyurethane shell. It is just, I mean, this this is probably one of the best Kobe's thus far. I mean, the design is really crazy. I really like the color, the blue, the mint candy blue really pops. As you can see, I mean, the design pretty much tells it all. These are and will be forever the Poison Dart Frog Kobe 7. My first Kobe 7. Probably one of the sickest Kobe 7s, I think, to date. And, um, oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you guys, um, as usual as I did for the Summer Lake Hornets, 
As soon as this video gets 15 likes, there will be a Fitbit for this posted up. So 15 likes, you get the Fitbit for the Kobe 7 Dark Frogs. But I was saying before, let's get on to the on foot review. Fire, fire burning inside my eyes. This the music that saved my life. Y'all be calling it hip hop. I be calling it hypnotized. You yeah, hypno, hypnotized. Trap my body but free my mind. What the fuck are you fighting for? Ain't nobody go with me. I'm fire burning inside my eyes. This the fight that's my 